You're listening to the Patenting for Inventors podcast with registered patent attorney, Dr. Adam Diamond, founder of Diamond Patent Law, the number one source for securing your intellectual property needs. Now, here's your host, Adam Diamond. Hello and welcome to the Patenting for Inventors podcast, episode 25, Do I Need a Patent Assignment? My name is Dr. Adam Diamond, a registered patent attorney and founder and owner of Diamond Patent Law in Los Angeles, California. I can be contacted through my website at patentingforinventors.com, that's patentingforinventors.com, or you can call me at 424-281-0162. And while most attorneys can only practice in states where they are members of that state's bar, patent attorneys are actually allowed to practice patent law for clients in any state, so feel free to contact me regardless of where you live. The last episode and the ones that follow are about forms and documents that you might need to file at the time that you file your application. Not all of these are required, and it depends on your circumstances. But the reason why I'm talking about them is that I'm leading up to an episode where I discuss how to fill out an application data sheet. This is a form where you write down all sorts of information about your application. A lot of it won't apply, so you'll just leave those sections blank. But I want you to know about them so you know whether to leave those sections blank or not. Assignments are one of those things that if you're a solo inventor, you probably aren't going to do, at least not right away. But you should know about them because you might want to sell your invention at some point, and you might be forming a company just for your invention. So what is an assignment? A patent assignment is basically selling the rights of your patent to another party. Usually it's to a company, but it could be to another individual. Once you assign your patent, someone else has the right to stop others from making, using, and selling your invention. And the reason why I'm talking about assignments before you've even filed your application is because in the forms for filing, you'll be asked if the patent is going to be filed under the inventor's name or an applicant's name. The inventor can be the applicant. By default, the inventor is the applicant. But if you want to file the application in the name of a company, then the company is the applicant and not the inventor. This doesn't mean that the inventor doesn't have rights to the invention, and it doesn't mean that the inventor won't be listed on the patent when it issues. It just means that the entity that is filing the application is the company, and it's the company that's going to be listed as the applicant and not the inventor. But just because the company is the applicant, it doesn't necessarily mean that the company actually owns the patent, and that's where an assignment comes in. By default, the inventor is the owner of his or her invention. Even if the inventor works for a company and it's his or her job to come up with inventions. So there has to be some kind of document that says that someone else owns it. Lots of times when you start working for an employer, your employment contract says that your employer owns all intellectual property that you come up with related to your job and that you're obligated to assign any rights. But even if you have signed an employer-employee agreement, the patent office still wants a specific assignment document signed by you for a particular patent or patent application. It's not a very complicated document, usually it's just one page. Your name will be on it, and you are the assignor, and you'll be listed as the inventor of the title of the application. You won't have a patent application number yet, but the patent office allows the document to have a blank space to fill in the patent number and date if you write in the assignment that it can be filled in later. Then there's a paragraph on who the assignee is, which is usually a company, and an address of the company goes there. Then there's a section that says that you, as the inventor, are assigning your rights for usually some small amounts, like $1, and that the company has all rights to any patents that issue, and it might say that it also has rights to any derivative patents. $1 might seem like a silly amount, why have anything at all? The short story is that in the United States, in order for contracts to be valid, both parties have to exchange something. You usually can't give something away for free and have the contract be valid, so some nominal amount like $1 is included in the exchange. Then the assignment is signed by the inventor, Legally, in the United States, only the inventor needs to sign and a company officer does not need to sign the assignment. Then the assignment is signed by the inventor. Legally, in the United States, only the inventor needs to sign and a company officer does not need to sign. But I like to have a company officer sign anyways, because if you want it to be valid in other countries, those other countries might require a company officer to sign. So I'll include it in the U.S. assignment. So the question is, do you need an assignment? Probably not. But the company that you work for might need you to sign one, so you should be aware of them. If you started a company yourself or your product, you might want to assign the invention to your company. So if you're ever doing business under your company name and issues of patent ownership comes up and who's allowed to license the product, then everything can be done through your company and not you personally. It just makes it easier. You don't have to file your patent assignment at filing, but it's easier to do it right away and actually assign your invention before it's even filed. I'll go more into that later when I get to the application data sheet episode and who the applicant is for the patent application and whether it's the inventor or the company. 
In the next episode, I'm going to go over another document that you may or may not need at the time of filing, the power of attorney. If you want help with drafting your patent application, you can contact me through my website at patentingforinventors.com, that's patentingforinventors.com, or call Diamond Patent Law at 424-281-0162. I'm Adam Diamond, and until next time, keep on inventing.